We're in the Bridgewater Channel, Lake Havasu City. This is Roger Galloway with Officer Jason Perkinson. Uh, Officer, could you tell me, we want to look at some of the rules and regulations that are uh, in existence in the channel for the boaters that come in. Here we are, Memorial Day weekend. What's the deal with, with alcohol? Uh, they're allowed to have it on their boats. Are they allowed to walk along with it as well? There are areas of the uh, Bridgewater Channel that uh, alcohol is not permitted, but to the most part it is. Uh, along the seawall, all the way to the boats, to the water line, and then along the sidewalk, pretty much the length of it, uh, there are some small areas that is designated no alcohol. Uh, obviously alcohol problems that we have are going to be uh, glass containers. There's not a beach in America that you're allowed to have glass containers, but we have a constant problem with them being brought to this beach. Uh, underage alcohol is going to be another concern. Uh, people that are under 21 out here consuming or consuming to an extent that, uh, that their judgment is impaired makes them do foolish things. As far as the parks around here, there's one large one called Rotary Park and there's another one called the London Bridge Beach Park. Uh, what about alcohol there? Uh, the London Bridge Beach Park and Rotary Park, you can get special permits uh, to have alcohol in the park, but to the most general public it is, uh, it is a alcohol-free environment. Uh, however, those uh, boundaries do uh, border against the lake. So there's a misconception sometimes that the parks are free to alcohol since you can have it on your boat and on some of the beaches. Uh, Rotary Park is pretty much no alcohol uh, at any time. London Bridge Beach Park, however, is a little closer to the seawall and uh, sometimes we do get overflow of people trying to uh, take alcohol into the city park. It's uh, Memorial Day weekend, of course. It's a very, very busy atmosphere here. I mean, boats are all over the channel uh, in both directions. It's a pretty liberal atmosphere in general. What is the, the law regarding the, the young women, especially, who decide they want to wear pasties? Is that legal or, or not? Yes, pasties are legal in the state of Arizona. Um, the uh, portion of the breast that needs to be covered is the areola, and as long as the pasty is what that's designed for to cover that area, by the gray or the letter of the law, is uh, technically legal. So uh, as long as good taste is uh, put into that as well, and it doesn't cross the line of being obscene. And one last question, as far as the boaters are concerned that are moored on either side of the channel, um, it, it, are you fairly liberal and, and not going after them, pursuing them, so to speak, unless they get, so to speak, out of line? Uh, well, as busy as it is right now, you really have to you have to weigh what we're trying to accomplish versus the, uh, the letter or technicality of the law. Safety is going to be our number one concern, and if we can get somebody to comply without taking an enforcement action on them by still, you know, having them sit down in the front, in front of the driver on the boat or no bow riding, uh, you know, things to that nature. If we can get compliance real quickly by talking to them and move on to the next possible as long as they're conforming with safety, then uh, we try not to. But there's going to be always those ones that feel like the rules don't apply to them, and uh, we'll continue to do it despite those conversations. And we're in, in those incidents, uh, uh, an enforcement action is normally the proper tool to use. All right, thank you.